subscribe to Norm Burger King. Are you trying to get you out with a... <laughs> the jaws of life. jaws of life? <laughs> <laughs> the jaws of water. Are we going to commercial? Daniel says we're going yeah, to commercial. Yeah, we uh, yeah, we gotta we gotta take a break. We'll be back with the ever funny Adam Egan. <laughs> First of all, I'm I'm told by uh, Nick Swartzen that he's he's come up with a new impression for his act. He's known for his impressions. Uh, what is it again? This is uh, Mr. Frilly talking to the 20 year old girl he just woke up next to. Or no, he's in the middle of sex with her. Uh -huh. I'm coming in your butt! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Melissa, well, man. Hey, <laughs> your mouth is my toilet! <laughs> <laughs> no, to, wait, what about the man grate? <laughs> is that like a genital cleanser? No! No, my god! <laughs> It is 100% made in America, <laughs> cast iron grilling grates. It's revolutionizing the way people grill. <laughs> Jesus. What? I thought it was like a, all right. You want to hear what it has? Yeah. It has heavy duty grilling grates. <laughs> <laughs> Deliver exactly what you need to achieve that perfect steakhouse flavor. Chicken, steak, has never tasted so good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> well, that was our only sponsor. Oh yeah, you lost. Yeah, now we found out we lost Mangrate as a sponsor. <laughs> and then earlier today, I think we were told legally we can't say we lost them as a sponsor even. Yeah, I think we were still waiting to find out if we were allowed to say that. But anyway, oh, that was Schwartz. We lost them. That was Nick Schwartz that fucked it all up. <laughs> well, I mean, the first one, I'm, I'm in tears like, laughing. Yeah, I'm, I'm not bringing, I'm not well, bringing but... up the fucking tsunamis. <laughs> <laughs> No, but how much money did you lose on that? <laughs> a lot more than we lost with the man grade. The Aflac duck. Yes. Did you lose a lot of money? Uh, no. In the future. No. It, was, it was $5 a commercial. <laughs> That's more than we got for the man oh, grade. I, I bet that was a lot of fucking money. Because it was set, right? You didn't have, would you go in and just do a whole year's in one? No, no, they'd have me come in each time to yeah. do new ones. Oh, they would. But, and then they wound up. Uh, firing me, getting a new guy to imitate my voice yeah. for less money, thus bringing closure to a horrible tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, one time I did, you know, the, you remember the Dr. Doolittle movie? Oh, yeah, gee, yeah. I was in that. You were yeah, in the it. first one. Yeah, what were you, a crow? <laughs> <laughs> I was the dog who, uh, at the uh, obsessive compulsive dog. Oh, I was a dog also, so we may have done a scene Oh, together. yes, 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 you, yes. You were the dog talking yeah. to the, ti the yeah. lion. And they called me and said, Eddie wants you to do this movie, and then I never got to meet Eddie. Oh, uh, no, I, I didn't I meet got, him during I, that I either. Betty Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> And then I do a line, and she goes, this is not that funny. And I have to think all night trying to think of a funnier line. But anyway, the point was, I was going to say, I did all nine Dr. Doolittle movies because they said, otherwise, we'll just get a sound alike. And I was like, oh, I don't want that guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, you know, so I did it. But you. They, they got a sound alike. Eddie Murphy yep. put you in big movies. Well, in one. Yeah, Beverly Hills Beverly Cop. Beverly Hills Cop 2. Probably his biggest movie. Yeah, where we ad-libbed the whole scene. That was the, and people still come up to me and go, I've got something I'm in sure. this hand, blah, yeah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because movies, people remember me like, do people, because I did one time, I did a thing on Family Guy, everybody knows me from that one fucking little thing. So does that ever happen to you? I, well, I did. So uh, like a surprising thing? Yeah. Uh, the, Aladdin. Yeah, Aladdin. That was a surprise. Yeah. Boy, who would think a, a Disney right, film as would as be said, big? Who would said, think <laughs> in from uh, yeah. Aladdin, which nobody saw, I thought that right and didn't I play like, outside of yeah. New York? I mean, it's, it's not uh, hey, it was such it's, it was it's, such it's, a yeah. Shudini. It was it's, such I meant to say Shudini. Shudini. It's yeah. no Ford Fairlane. Where is he, Shudini? Yes. Uh, no, I haven't. Do we have a copy of that God commercial? damn, I wish we could. We're going to get What's one. What's in it? Brent's going to get a copy of Shudini. And what was it? Was well, it great? Oh, wait, yeah, it was like a fake infomercial, right? Yeah, it was no, a real infomercial. Real. Oh, People my God, that was real. real. And, and it's like, you what know what? What was the catchphrase, though? It's like a shoehorn. On a stick. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that was real. <laughs> and, and you know how every infomercial has, like, the beginning that shows the way you're doing it yeah, now yeah, is yeah. dangerous and bad. They would have these old people 
trying to put their shoes on and off and falling down yeah. dead, you know, like, ah, they, they, a look of terror and then falling to, and, you know, you, you go, oh, how many pe old people die from putting their shoes on? And, uh, you, and, you know, some people, uh, if you're cynical, you might go, well, why don't they sit in the chair when they put their shoes on? But it's just, you're old and you don't think of that. What about the time when the old product works, like can of Corey Apple? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> what an apple for? I'm the chef for the future! <laughs> chef for the future! <laughs> chef for the future! Ha ha! <laughs> what have you brought with you, chef of the future? <laughs> Who played <laughs> Thomas <laughs> Ness? <laughs> Get a Corey Apple, chef of the future! <laughs> What about the, the yes. third incarnation of Lucille Ball's career, her final show? Oh, my God, the best. That was, what <laughs> was, was that one called? 75. Life with Lucy? Life with Lucy. Yeah. yeah, that's where she was like 90. And, and they had her on top wacky. of a ladder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's still a wacky girl, and she's 90, so it's really sad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, I grew up on the, the second one where she was, she seemed like a drunk. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Miss, where she was Mrs. Mrs. McGillicuddy. Yeah, yeah. And Mrs. With, Mr. Mooney. Yeah, yeah, Gail yeah. Gordon. Man. Yeah. And she reminded you of your like drunk aunt, like Joy Bayard. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Joy Bayard reminds me of an older person in my family that's funny around the table. <laughs> they're virtually what she huh? is. Yeah. <laughs> they're getting they're losing a couple of people from the view though. <laughs> I think I think they're losing Elizabeth Hasselbeck and Joy Behar. No, Elizabeth Hasselbeck, there was a rumor. Oh, there was just a rumor? Yeah, yeah, that was that oh, was thank God. that okay. was urban legend. <laughs> You checked Snopes on that? We're going to get it. I think we're getting a clip of Shudini, right? Oh. No, oh, yeah, Shudini. You have it? Oh, no, we don't have to do it in real time. We can just well, I want to see it. <laughs> oh, that's rich. Oh, well, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's not no, no, Oh, no. this is the one where I do the voiceover. We have it without audio. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. We have a Popeye cartoon, but you can't hear him. <laughs> We've got a Frank Sinatra record that we can show on camera. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to show it for? Yeah, we don't have to show. No it. audio, just a bunch of pianos yeah, falling on old people. So, it's a regular shoehorn. Who was the when you started? The, that was when there was comedians and singers. Yes. Together. Yeah. Like Kay Ballard would come up, or not? What's her name? Pat Benatar. Florence Henderson. Florence Henderson yeah. would say. <laughs> Sandler and Young. <laughs> You know, no, Sandler yeah. and Young, uh -huh. they were a team. It's uh, like <laughs> this uh, American yeah. guy, like Big yeah. Joe, and then a French guy. Yeah. And it's like, they used to sing like, Oh, when the saints come marching in. They were huge. They would be. They would, huge? Yeah, they, no, they, were, they were big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's ridiculous. You know, now when you look, as a kid, I used to watch acts like that and go, oh, well, they must be good because they're on they're television. On the TV. Oh, right. Yeah, and I'm a kid. I just don't get it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, used like the that, I used to think that about Saturday Night Live in the first years. I go, Must. the ones that sketched that didn't work, I go, I guess they're avant-garde. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bending over. And I'm like regular shoe holes. Houdini has a patented grip clip that holds your shoe you in place. Yes. We've already explained it. It's almost like after an Adam you get Bending over to put your shoes on is a backbreaking chore. One wrong step, you could end up on the floor. And trying to get them off can hurt even more. <laughs> well, now they see shoe Dini, the world's first shoe <laughs> hold, and lets you get your shoes, shoes, shoes on and off with ease. Shoe Dini has a telescoping handle that gives you the reach you need so you can slip your shoes on without bending over. And unlike regular shoe horns, <laughs> Shoe Dini. He has a patented grip oh, clip that holds your shoe in place while you take it off. Just slide it in and slip them off. Shoe Dini works with yeah, all see, your shoes. You can even see, use them on sneakers. Right and her, just she look sit how easy it. it is to put on and take off dress shoes, <laughs> even when they're laced up. No more wrinkled clothes trying to get.
get your shoes on. <laughs> no more scuffing and damaging your shoes trying to get them off. <laughs> Shoedini is perfect for anyone with arthritis or back pain, especially those with limited mobility. Plus, the grip clip lets you pick up your shoes <laughs> off the floor yeah. without bending over. So stop bending and struggling <laughs> with your shoes every day Look, and get them fast. on and off the <laughs> easy way. Get Shoedini right this second. Come on, please. It's not just a shoe and, horn, and look it's at that, a shoe that's horn like a on a stick. Look when she so pulls call the now thing. and get your Shoudini for just fourteen ninety nine. You'll also receive our shoe remover, the one pass yeah, clear cut like refinisher that works on any color. To keep your shoes time? looking fresh and, and new. Plus, it's too. great for restoring handbags too. Yeah, right? A fifteen dollar right value now, free. I call right now and we'll double the offer. Right, just pay shipping. That that's pay? right. You get two Shoudinis and two shoe renewers for only fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, it was. Well, it has that. It has that hook. The hot height. Yeah. Yeah. But seriously, what does something like that pay? Uh, that, that wasn't bad. Yeah. You get paid, like, for yeah. voice stuff and shit? Yeah. Because I always go, <laughs> No, like, I, I do it no, for no, charity. No, a lot, though. Yeah. Because I say to my agent, I got a weird voice. Everybody's always, like, making fun of it. And people yeah. come up to me and go, hey, here's my impression of you. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I go, if I'm going to be made fun of. Hey, lady. Yeah, yeah. lady. Yeah. Oh, then why, don't I, why can't I do voice work? Which seems very easy to me. Like, it would be easy. Oh, yeah. Because you just you know you don't have to move your hand, yeah. and, you know, gesture. <laughs> that's oh, that's the worst part about acting <laughs> yeah, is the gesture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I fucking seriously, I'm in this movie. I don't know how to act, so I heard less is more. I'm like, this is great. Yeah, I won't do anything. <laughs> And the guy did not care for it at all. <laughs> I thought like, by doing almost nothing that he would, in my stillness, see something. <laughs> Didn't work. No. Uh, <laughs> San Sanford Meisner. You ever hear that fucker? No. Oh, yes. Yeah, he was my teacher. He was? No, but his teacher, my teacher had... Oh, was this oh. the one you took with Stevie? Yeah. Oh. I, was well, he did this thing, me and Stevie Ray Fromstein. Yeah. <laughs> And we were he's too, big. He's, yeah, he's very good at yeah. What's his uh, thing the uh... He's the holy atheist. <laughs> okay. So he goes on, half his act, his first act, half his act is how there's no God. The second half of his act is how uh, brutal, um, what is it called? Circumcision is. <laughs> yeah, that's it. yeah, it's all about circumcision. And the audience is very... Yeah. <laughs> The first half it's okay because it's very in vogue, the God thing, but the uh, <laughs> circumcision and they start losing people. Yeah, people are like, oh. And anyway, he's very graphic. With he's it. very graphic. He talks about how uh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking about it. The acting class that you took with uh, I don't like when he tells me to tell a story. Yes, oh, I'm sorry. Then it's not a you good mentioned story. the guy. You tell him a fucking story. No, uh, that doesn't go well. <laughs> tell him your best story. My best story was was the Steve. You just fucking told it. No, it mm -hmm. happened to you. He's a comedian. No, um, you know the Tempe Improv? Uh, okay. You know, you know I think that? so. I worked a few improv. Yeah. Tempe, the big um, theater. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, I yes, 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 yeah. I have. You I were have. also a stand-up then. No. You, do, you told me you did stand-up. Well, I did, I mean, you know, for like three or four months. What was your joke? Uh, you had one joke? No, it was, it was so ridiculous. It what? was stupid. What was it? Oh, God, man. Yeah, uh, it was something like, uh, don't don't take a, a shot from a girl at a bar because it always it looks ridiculous. It's never good. It's... I, I think the punchline was, is this, a, is this a Care Bear cum shot or something? It was, it was really ridiculous. I, I don't remember it. It was so long ago. But that was the gist of it, and that's why I don't do stand-up anymore. You should open with it. Yeah. yeah. I should open and close with it. He can't even tell his own joke. <laughs> yeah, I mean, again, again, I, I, I tried it maybe like uh, less than a dozen times. I did it maybe seven or eight times I did stand-up. And it was, says, it was years ago. Don't take a shot at a girl at a bar. <laughs> Um, I think it has to do with the Care Bears. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> that was like, the worst. <laughs> Daniel's point. Look at what Daniel's doing. Oh, we have to. We have to um, take one oh, more we'll break be back and then we do yeah. jokes. Prepared yeah. jokes. Yeah, with yeah with actual jokes. Subscribe to Non Burger King. You've tried.